Hello, I'm Ashley Anthony, and welcome to Take 5, where we take five minutes or less to talk about a program here at HISD. Joining me is Sabrina Proventure with HISD Innovative Curriculum and Instruction. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you, Ashley? Good. So we're going to talk about coding today. What is the hour of code? We've got that coming up, and I want to know how are we hoping that our students get involved? The Hour of Code is actually, I was going to say a national campaign, but really it is a global campaign to introduce children to computer science. Um, it takes on a gaming format, it's free, and um, there's a lot of publicity all over the web and all over the news about it, but its main goal is to get students involved in this field, computer science, where most of the STEM jobs and most jobs of the future are predicted to go. Um, and just kind of give them a taste of what's available and exposure to careers that they might have not thought of before through coding. IT and computer science are a few of the fastest growing sectors in the country right now. Absolutely. Why is HISD trying to bring computer science and coding to more of our schools? Well, we know that our kids love technology. Mm -hmm. um, they're digital natives. They were born in the computer age. Most students right now were born to the year 2000 and or beyond. Um, we know that we actually as a society have been underutilizing technology in that we have cultivated um, students and, and even our adults to be passive users of computers. And what we mean by that is they just sit in front of it and when it breaks down they don't know what to do. And really it's not a way that's empowering. And so by teaching and deconstructing what happens within technology, within computers, we're allowing students to control the technology, mm -hmm. to meet their learning goals, and to decide where they want technology to serve their purposes and needs. And how are these skills beneficial to our students? What are they going to gain out of, right, out of right. this? Well, as a public school district, you might say, um, why should we be catering towards just computer science exclusively? Mm -hmm. Are we only interested in jobs? Obviously not. Yeah. We want well-rounded individuals. Um, computer science is a way to teach logic. Now, in the old days, logic used to be a formalized course of instruction. But what happened is we tell students all the time, um, work on critical thinking skills, or we're going to do some problem solving but we never really give them a formalized, systematic approach to learn critical thinking. And that really is the trick. It seems as though teachers and students that know how to use critical thinking skills inherently mm -hmm. know how to do it. But what computer science does is it teaches students how to create the directions. And knowing how to formulate directions is how you can think through a problem in its various steps and deconstruct what's actually going on. So logic, creativity, and problem solving are foundational skills that form the backbone of computer science. I've visited a few of our STEM schools recently, Clifton, um, mm -hmm. Baylor College of um, Medicine Academy at Ryan. Mm -hmm. They have wonderful STEM programs where the kids are learning engineering and, and robotics, how to encrypt and decrypt code, and, right. and, and how to create mobile apps. So, what other schools are participating? It's not just the STEM, STEM magnet schools that are participating in coding in these programs. How are other schools getting involved right now? Right. Um, well, for example, um, Hour of Code gives awards for schools that have registered um, about a month ago. All schools that registered formally uh, were um, you were able to win prizes. And one of the prizes in every state, $10,000 worth of laptops was mm -hmm. going to be awarded to one school. Yeah, that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. And one of our schools, Coulter Elementary School, which is a literature magnet school, actually was the winner. Mm -hmm. um, and winners were not based just on chance. Teachers had to carefully think about how they were going to implement Hour of Code, which is next week. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that Coulter did is they talked about how so much of the Hour of Code uh, programming options for next week are available in 30 different languages. Mm -hmm. And so why not tie in their language study to some of the different interfaces of the tutorials? Yeah. So now they're learning language within context. 
they're learning the computer science skills, they're actually choosing the language that they're studying in class, and they can capitalize on both. So it's things like that that made Coulter one of stand out to the Code.org prize awarders. Mm -hmm. um, but that's how schools that are not even STEM-based or science or math-based can find ways to use and benefit from the critical thinking that computer coding will create in their students. How can their parents at home get their children more excited and involved in coding and, and computer science, not just sitting at the laptop right. and playing games right. and things like that, but more on the technical side. And you know, that's really important to all STEM programs, mm -hmm. but especially something like computer science. You want to um, introduce computer science and technology to the entire community. So one way to do that is just like you said, to do it at home. So obviously it's a website, it's available 24 hours a day. We're encouraging parents to um, have their children complete what they start working on during Hour of Code. Um, there are courses available on the code.org website, right. the sponsoring organization. And uh, code.org is very, very open about their website and their programs are available for anyone between the ages of four and 104. They want communities to get involved. Computer science is available for everyone. Everyone can benefit from the critical thinking, creativity, and logic skills. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks. For more information on today's topic and on HISD in general, visit HoustonISD.org. I'm Ashley Anthony, and this has been Take 5. Thanks for watching.